We covered a lot of information in this session, but it's really important because it's causing customer problems and it's costing you thousands of dollars a year. So let's take a minute to review. Replacement of cable and connectors is one of the primary causes of service calls. Most of these calls could have been avoided if the right hardware had been used and the work had been done correctly. Though most coax looks alike, there are big differences. Only DirecTV approved cable can be used on a DirecTV installation. That cable is RG6 with a solid copper center conductor and at least 60% braid swept to 3 gigahertz. The shape of the cable cannot be changed or will impact the performance. That means it must not be bent in sharp bends or attached with any device like metal staples that dent or change its shape. Only DirecTV approved compression connectors should be used on any DirecTV installation. No matter how good a connector you use, if it isn't cut right, it'll fail. Always use cable prep tools to cut on connectors. If the blades in your prep tool are worn, replace them. Never cut a connector using a knife, wire cutters, or any other device other than a cable prep tool. Fold back the braid and slip on the connector until it stops. If you're using the right connector with your cable, it should slide on with very little force. Always look inside and make sure the dielectric is flush with the interface of the connector and make sure there are no pieces of braid or foil inside that could come in contact with the center conductor shorting out the cable. Place the connector in the compression tool, making sure the center conductor is in the hole and the back of the connector is firmly against the gate, then squeeze the handle fully until it stops. Give it a pull test and make sure you have about an eighth of an inch of center conductor extending beyond the connector. If this is an external connector, apply a small amount of grease to the threads. Make sure the device you're connecting to is rated for the higher frequencies by looking at the color of the plastic insert. Remember, blue and yellow are good, while white and clear are not. Slip a weather seal over the male connector. Screw on the connector and tighten all connections to 30 inch pounds. Remember, L and B's and receivers can be damaged if the connectors are over tightened. So always tighten those connections as tight as you can by hand. When routing cable or putting on connectors, there are no shortcuts. Using the right tools actually takes less time and it's safer than using knives or box cutters. If you've heard from an old timer that it doesn't matter, well they're dead wrong. It makes all the difference in the world in the quality and longevity of your connections. I know we all come to work every day wanting to do the best at everything we're assigned or even attempt. So this shouldn't be too difficult. But it's up to you to help us all correct this expensive problem. By using only approved cable and connectors and just doing the job right, we can reduce or even eliminate these unnecessary calls. We're counting on each of you to help us all get there. I'm Ray Edwards and from all of us at DirecTV, have a safe and productive day.